Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my friends. Hello, hello. Um, this is a quick video to give you a wee bit of a tutorial or kind of like a walkthrough of the Canvas page for Earth 162. Every instructor sets up their page a little bit differently, and so I want to just kind of give you a little bit of rundown um, on how mine is set up, maybe some little tips and tricks on kind of how things are, are set up or where you can find assignments and things like that. Maybe you're a Canvas whiz, that's totally fine. Um, but I just wanted to kind of make this just in case you're not, you know? I know we've all kind of, we've used different LMSs or learning management systems, and so I just want to um, give you a little rundown on ours. Something I do also want to um, point out if you are um, watching this before classes start, um, just the textbook that we're going to be using. Just wanted to show that real quick. So we got two editions. Um, it's called Weather Concise Introduction. It's not a requirement to have the book. However, if you're someone who needs a little bit of extra help to kind of synthesize the information um, and kind of absorb it in a different way, that might be a helpful tool for you. Um, I used to use the book like a lot, um, really like stringently, but um, now not so much. So it's a, it's a rather cheap book um, in terms of like science textbooks um, affordability. So it's in the bookstore. You can get it on Amazon. There might be a free PDF version somewhere. I don't know. I've had students find that before in the past. Anyways, whatever works for you. There's also very pretty pictures in it and fun little like extra readings that are kind of neat. So anyway, there's that. If you have any questions on that, just holler at me and let me know. Um, Otherwise, let's continue on to checking out our Canvas page. Woo, Canvas. All right. So I'm currently in the student view. So this should be what you see. Um, whenever you click the home button, you're going to be taken to this uh, lovely page here. If I make any announcements, those were the first three announcements or latest three announcements, excuse me, will show up in this area. Um, it's going to be super important for you to keep an eye on that. There may be something that happens. Maybe I get sick or, you know, Muni is delayed, e even though usually I'm here before that anyway. But you know, something catastrophic can happen. Lord knows we just went through a pandemic. So anything can happen. You know what I mean? Um, so look for that and maybe consider putting it in your um, settings in your own Canvas page, um, your email settings to show that your announcements are going to be sent to your email. I think that will be a beneficial thing. Any whoosies, some things to also note here, you'll see on the right hand side, a lovely to do list in chronological order. Uh, chronological, chronological order. Um, so, you know, we already have one assignment. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, it's just your exit ticket for the first week of class. Um, that will be in labs, so have no fear there. Um, but there are a couple other assignments here um, that I have for you for the first week, just to kind of, you know, just some the little things, they're very easy to chip away at. I think he promised you that it shouldn't take you too long to complete, unless you're going to write yourself an essay on the prompts that I have for the Get to Know You discussion board. But I, you know, I generally wouldn't recommend that. Um, I mean, you can write one if you want, but, you know, just be yeah. <laughs> succinct. Um, so that's a spot there. Uh, there's a little blurb here for just the class in general, where the class meets, where we're at. Um, there's something called a liquid syllabus, which I will attach in our first announcements anyway. Um, it's basically just like a more user-friendly version of the syllabus. It doesn't have all the information that the official syllabus has, um, but it's something that you can view very easily on your phone or your tablet or your laptop. It's a Google Sites thing, so it's very, very easy for you to kind of get some of that really essential um, initial information. I also made a little welcome video. Um, it was from a few semesters ago, so it's a little bit um, dated. So some information in there might not be entirely correct, but a lot of the information is. Um, so there's that. Um, where we're going to be meeting, we are in Thornton Hall, room 513. So if you've never been to campus before, there's two big old buildings kind of um, by 19th Avenue. If you ride Muni, you're going to see them right there. Um, there's also a lot of construction going on at the moment. So there's the science building, new science building being built. Um, so we're just one of those really big cement buildings. Um, so you just go on up to the fifth floor. It, the, it initially starts on the third floor, so you'll go, just go up two floors, you'll go down to the very end of the hallway, um, and there are classrooms on the left. 
Um, the classroom you'll find, um, actually, uh, while I'm thinking about it, the classroom is set up a little bit differently than uh, normal classrooms. There's circular tables with very comfy chairs um, around each table. I think there's eight tables or so. Um, so just come on in, find your seat. It is a full lecture size class, so it may be beneficial to kind of try and pop in a little bit early if you can, if you don't have um, a class right before us or, you know, maybe just run to class. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, it's, a, it's a really neat classroom. I really enjoy it. So I hope that you all enjoy it as well. Um, Any who's. So another big part here is the how to get in touch with me, right? So here's my email, direct link there. Here's my cell phone number. This is also will be very helpful if um, you need to reach me immediately if you have any like issues that you um, need help with or uh, if something has gone wrong and you need assistance or, you know, whatever, whatever you need me for, I'm, I'm here. Um, and then I have my office hour links here. So I'll be on campus um, Mondays and Wednesdays. So you can either be here in person or if you can't make it to campus or whatever. And then on Fridays as well, um, here's just the Zoom link for it. My office, if you're coming to it in person, is just up one floor from where our classroom is and kind of closer to the elevators. Um, 623 is the number, but honestly, whoever uh, numbered a lot of the buildings or rooms in a lot of the buildings in this um, campus uh, was not sober, I promise you, because they're all kinds of messed up. So you'll, my name is, there's a placard on the door, so you'll find me pretty easily. Um, some other useful links here, I think, would be our official syllabus and our schedule. The schedule is something that I update frequently. Um, I have to put a copy of the schedule on the syllabus, but that one I can't necessarily um, easily modify. Um, but some other things here, you have your study guide or guided notes for the entire course and just some other um, useful resources. Food and Shelter and Success is a really cool uh group um, within the campus that can help with any food insecurity or, or shelter insecurity um, and financial insecurity, uh, Canvas support, and uh, SFSU IT. Something else that I think is really beneficial here are scholarship opportunities. So if you need money, who doesn't need money, honey? But um, there's a lot of really awesome scholarship and internship opportunities that I always don't don't always know about every single one of them. So those might be helpful links there, but something else a little bit more on the fun side, especially if you're new to San Francisco, there are um, two main museum or museum sort of like science center sort of things. One is the Exploratorium. And it's great to go there during the day, you know, it can be fun. There's kids running around if you're a fan of kids, sweet. Um, but on Thursday nights, they have an adult only time from I think six to about 10 p.m. Um, the Exploratorium is 18 plus, so you can go if you're not under 21. But if you're over 21, um, you can. There's a bar. There's bars everywhere, so you can um, grab a drink if you want. And there's different themes for each night, which I think is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. If there's anything like ocean or weather related, I'll I'll try and make sure that um, I kind of project about that. Um, but there's also the Cal Academy of Sciences, which is a bit closer to here. It's in Golden Gate Park. They also have adult nights, but that one is 21 plus and they check your IDs at the door. There's also different themes with that, but it's not as many different themes as the Exploratorium. Again, really, really cool stuff that they have going on there. And I highly, highly encourage you to go if you have a night free or maybe a date night or a roommate night or something like that. It's really, really awesome. You may even see me there um, as well. Anywho, so those are just some fun little links. Um, from here, what's going to be really beneficial for you is going to be the modules button. So how I have everything set up is like per module and per unit. But the first two modules are going to be the most important for the first couple, uh, first week of class. First, notice how it says one, must you first. Um, and notice how some of the pages are grayed out. And you're like, why can't I click on these? Uh, because you have to click on the first one first. Um, so, and then also, oh my gosh, why can't I do these first assignments? What in tarnation is going on? Notice this little doodly bop here, prerequisites. You have to have gone through the first module here in order to unlock the assignments in this, in the second module um, for your assignments. So you're going to first click on instructor, instructor information and communication policy. You'll see a cute picture of me, a little blurb about me, some more contact info, even though all of this is still on the homepage, but it's here as well. Um, and then 
basically you can just go back to modules and everything else now is unlocked for you to um, to look at. So now you can do the first week's to do's Woo! and get those out of the way so you don't have to think about me um, until uh, later on. So from here, how I have things set up is per unit. So there's four units to this class that I've kind of coined as one being the basics, two, heat, moisture, and precipitation, uh, three, circulation, and four, the fun stuff. Um, and so in each unit, I'll uh, you can do like the basics overview, and this just gives you an overall over view of the of what the unit is going to entail and resources you know just due dates and things like that um so be sure to check that out um and then i'll also post all of the lecture slides um in, in this in this area so and that's great right everyone loves when lecture slides are posted um so even though even though i'm going to be posting the lecture slides doesn't mean that you just can't come to class, right? So oftentimes there will be a lot of pictures on those lecture slides and there may not be much of an explanation. So might be beneficial to come to class. <clears throat> Additionally, if you come to class, guess what I'll also tell you? What the short answer questions will be on your exams. So might be kind of nice to come and hang out with me um, during class time. Anywho, so I'll post all of those there in um, PowerPoint format. You'll also find all the discussion boards that we're going to have. Oh my god, I know discussion boards. But um, I find some really awesome videos and resources and articles and things that we're going to discuss um, further. And also, you know, maybe some of us are kind of shy and we don't want to speak up in class. This will be a place for you to participate. Any homework assignments, any of our lab activities, as well as any lab resources. Um, so maybe you'll find when we like practice calculations or like how to make graphs or whatever that when we went over in class like maybe you were just kind of zoning out or you have a lot going on or whatever i will almost always have an extra little like youtube tutorial on how to do something i have a whole youtube channel um so you can maybe sift through that but i'll also just post whatever i can um here um, and that's pretty much how things are are set up, right? If we have exam time, I'll have exam prep um, here. Um, we, we will have three main projects in this class, so you'll find all of that here. And there is also an extra credit opportunity, um, or technically two extra credit opportunities that I will go into further detail um, later on. Besides all of that, um, some things that might be helpful here on the left-hand side uh, would be maybe the assignments button. So you can find that there. You have your upcoming assignments. Notice pretty much the only thing that I have uh, published right now are the exit tickets from for the lab sections. Um, but everything else is just kind of like uh, separated out in, in those ways. You can also find assignments over in the calendar, which I think is kind of fun. Um, so you'll see when things are due. Uh, and things like that. So I think, let me move my face. I think if I like go to September, for example, it'll be like, oh, okay, this is when our, um, oh, maybe this will be better. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, these are when things are due. Um, notice that, oh man, there's not things due for these two weeks. Um, in this particular case, that is for a set reason and you will find that out later. Um, so, any hoosies, I think that's really all I wanted to go into in terms of the Canvas page. So, take a moment, get yourself acclimated to it, uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and I will try to address them um, as, as soon as I can. Alright, thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!